Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Aisha and today I'm coming to you all with my first um, sneaker review of this year. So first review of 2020 and also um, I'm excited because I did end up getting them off of the sneakers app. If you've been following me for a while you know that me and that app just don't get along. So yeah that was super exciting for me. The shoe I'm reviewing today is the Jordan 1 UNC 2 Chicago. It was a women's release and it released on February 13th um, on the sneakers app and February February 14th everywhere else so globally it was a women's only release but they did release and I believe preschool and toddler sizes um, if I'm not mistaken the women's shoe did retail for 170 um, so it's like ten dollars more I think they normally retail for like 160 and some certain other models retail for 180 and for grade school the retail price is normally 120 so this was a little higher than I wanted to pay but I kind of expected it with my satin shattered backboard ones and, and also my black toe satin so yeah I was used to that price um it is it is what it is at this point. Um, I don't think the prices will be going down. Pretty sure they will be increasing. But without further ado, let's just get into this review. So the first thing I want to talk about is the um, box that it came in. It's the signature Jordan 1 box that they normally have. The only difference is that um, it is a red based box and it has the black branding and logo and all of them. All of that all over the box. So that is new. and um. And um, I was excited because typically um, women's shoes, we don't really get like a special packaging or anything like that. So that was exciting to me. Um, just has the signature box top right here. And so let's just dive right into this shoe. So opening the box up right here, you have the Jordan 1. So let's take that out. Now, I was so excited about getting this shoe. As you can see, it has the UNC, which is a North Carolina um, blue, but it's like more like a powder blue color. And it also has the Chicago, so basically UNC, the blue, to Chicago. Um, a little history about this shoe. It is, um, you know, paying homage to Michael Jordan's time playing in North Carolina and then his time with the Bulls, which is basically how we all know his greatness. But um, yeah, so this is all leather, so it's an all tumbled leather shoe, which is like a stickler for me, um, basically because I have always worn a grade school shoe, so um, my breads and a couple other, my, I think my top three Jordan 1s, they, are, they don't have this same good quality leather on it. So that's like a big thing for me. I'm always trying to get my hands on a shoe that's it's really good quality because it's like if we're paying more for the shoe, we should be getting the same quality that the men are getting. So I am very happy that the Jordan brand did bring this type of quality to a women's release. Um, also, I think this did go up to a 16 and a half in women, which is like equivalent to a 15 in men. So I know a lot of men did cop this shoe. Um, I will say, cause there was a lot of controversy surrounding the satin uh, ones, the um, black toe ones. I will say that I did not see as much controversy surrounding this release as I did that one. And I don't know if it was just because more of these maybe were made and for and to my knowledge everyone that i knew that tried to um grab this shoe were able to so that could be a, a reason as well um or this release just obviously wasn't as hyped as they were this year mostly all the female sneakerheads that i personally know and some that i don't know they were able to get their hands on these and i'm super excited about that i'm always happy when a shoe that is actually geared towards women and released for women women are actually able to purchase and for all the men that purchase you know there's no issue with that but it's just a good thing when you know the people that the shoe was made for get a chance to get the shoe so enough of that <laughs> so back to the shoe yeah it's an all leather shoe as you can see it's really great quality i'm so impressed by it so you basically have a, a all black um silhouette here it's an all black leather silhouette so you have powder blue here this is all at the back of the shoe here and on the nike swoosh check here you have the toe box here which is basically like a bread upper i would say this like if you only was looking at this part of the shoe it would look like a bread one which is the black and red colorway for anyone that does not know um 
the midsole is white so it's just a signature white midsole nothing too special there and you do have the outsole that's all red i actually thought that they were going to try to give the shoe when the first pictures came out sometime last year i thought they would may give this shoe the treatment um that they gave the top three my mind is just not here right now if they gave the top three um jordan ones which you know they kind of had it switched the colors kind of opposite of one another which i'm not upset about it i just kind of did think that this is what they were going to do i want to get into the right shoe which is the one that has the actual hang tag on it and i think it's so cool about it is because a lot like i said a lot of women's shoes don't really get this type of treatment and this type of you know special packaging but i do love that it's an all leather hang tag more than likely i probably won't wear this on the shoe because um i do remember back in the day when i used to get like um premium air force ones and things like that and they used to have hang tags and i would wear them they would come off and i would lose them um if you remember i'm talking about the little silver um metal hang tag that used to be on air force ones like back in 2000 i would say like five or six something like that uh, and, and on into 2007 and beyond yeah i would wear them and sometimes they would come off and i would lose them it used to be on premium and supreme air force ones and i used to be like so mad because i'm like oh my god where did it fall it like you know i never was able to find it again so more than likely i'm going to take this off um probably for pictures and different things of that nature i snap a pic with the hang tag on it but i won't be actually rocking these with the hang tag so um also back to the shoe it does have the nike air um in red on the tongue of the shoe the inside of this one is red look the laces out and it is that same powder blue color so that's a little cool that's basically the only difference in each of the shoes is pretty much when you do a 360 turnaround of the shoe it is identical um i'm super excited about getting this shoe um, I think I said that a couple times in this video already, but yeah, I'm super stoked about it. I wasn't like for sure I was going to get them. Um, just giving a little, a little play by play of the events leading up to this release. They did, um, do an exclusive access for women on the sneakers app. And unfortunately I did get the exclusive access link, but I was just not by my phone when it happened. And I got on instagram and i saw so many people like got the early access got the early pair and i was just like are you serious oh my god so i went on the app and i was like sold out so yeah that was bummed by that and i really was thinking to myself yeah you blew it like <laughs> that was gonna be your only time to be able to cop this shoe and you just blew your chances of it but luckily enough i was on the sneakers app um early right on there right at nine o'clock and i was able to um secure my pair um yeah that's gonna bring us to the end of this review i hope that you all enjoyed it also if you were able to pick up this shoe let me know down below kind of like how your cop story did you get off sneakers or did you go in store and if you didn't let me know why you didn't because i think it's a dope shoe was it a copper drop for you let me know that as well and as always remember to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video which will also be a review and i guess down below what that review will be um if you follow me on instagram or anything then you probably already know but um if you have not seen my stories then you don't know what my next review will be um i'm gonna try to get this video up tonight i literally just got home from work but whew, it's been a long day but i'm gonna try to do two reviews back to back and yeah so try to guess what that, re that review may be um this was also if i didn't mention was part of the all-star weekend um releases and shoes that came out so that's a hint it's as to what my other cop was from this past weekend and yeah i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching